Hey guys, let's take a look today at six websites that will be useful to you as a Marine Deck Officer. And for you as a Deck Cadet, it will be interesting to have a better idea about your future job. The first useful website is the UK Hydrographic Office website, admiralty.co.uk. Admiralty charts and publications can probably be found on most ships, and you are going to be working with them. Most ships are now equipped with special programs to get timely updates. But if something goes wrong, having the internet, you can use this site to get the necessary updates. Here you will find such windows for electronic and paper charts. Let's take a look at the first one. Here you can download various documents. Here you can find a README file regarding changes in using of ENCs. This is the file you should attach to the Admiral ENC Maintenance Record NP133C. Also here you can find the status of T and P notices and information about cancelled and withdrawn cells. If you scroll down the page, you will find information on how to update vector charts using the internet. You can also find and download AVCS installation guides for different types of ECTUS. Let's take a look at another window where you can find and download the latest notices to Mariners. If you are still using paper charts and publications, this is where you can get updates and make corrections. This is also where you will find Chapter 8, Updates to Admiralty Digital Services. You should also attach a printout of this chapter to Admiralty ENC Maintenance Record NP133C. Here you can also find navigation warnings, which on the ship you receive via an Marsat C or Navtex receiver. There is only for the Navaria one here. All other Navarias can be found on the following useful website. Useful site number two. This is the site of the International Hydrographic Organization, IHO.int. Here you can find a lot of different information. But most of all we are interested in navigational warnings. Here you can see such a window with all Navarias. You can select any one and link to the websites of the responsible countries and organizations for each Navaria. Let's try some of them. For example, Navaria 1, United Kingdom. And you will see that we get to where we have been recently the Admiralty website. Let's take a look at Navaria 11, Japan. Here we have the Japan Coast Guard site, 
where we can check local navigational warnings. And let's look at Navaria 12, USA. Here we get to the US Maritime Safety Information site. Another interesting site that we will check later. And also here we can check local navigational warnings. So, apart from navigational warnings, there are also meteorological warnings, which are also very important to know in time. So, the next useful site number three is called Worldwide Met Ocean Information and Warning Service provided by the World Meteorological Organization. www.miws.wmo.int This website displays the marine meteorological warnings and meteorological forecast information that are provided to mariners via International Enhanced Group Call EGC, Service and Navtex. Here you can find all the met areas and check all the messages the same ones you get on the ship, and here you can also download them. Okay guys, since knowing the weather at sea is very important, let's check out the next useful site number 4, where you can find the weather facsimile charts for the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans. And that site is the NOAA National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration Ocean Prediction Center, ocean.weather.gov. Even though there are many different weather programs on board to help avoid bad weather, some captains are still not reluctant to check these facsimile charts, which are actually rarely available in good quality through the ship's facsimile receiver. So if you have internet, you can get them here. You can find all the forecasts here and save them to your computer. You can get a lot of interesting information by browsing this site. Actually, NOAA has many different interesting sites that you can find on the internet. The next useful site number 5 is the International Maritime Organization IMO site. IMO.org Many of the publications on board such as Salas, Marble, etc. are IMO publications. So here you can find various documents, amendments, resolutions related to these publications. Here you can also find and download, for example, IMO standard marine communication phrases, officially. Okay guys, the sixth useful site is the ShipServe Online IMPA Catalog, impa-catalog.shipservey.com. Here you can find a digital version of the IMPA Catalog, which is commonly used on board to buy some tools and spare parts for the ship. It may be more convenient for you as a deck officer to find something here, or if you are a deck cadet, it will be useful to familiarize yourself with the various items used on board.
So guys, as a bonus, let's check out two more interesting sites. One we've already visited. It's called Maritime Safety Information, msi.nga.mil. We already know that here you can find navigational warnings for Navarias 12 and 4. Also here you can find US local notices for mariners. And there are some interesting publications to download here as well. Officially. That's what we mariners like. If you trade in US waters, you probably have hard copies of these publications on board. If you don't, you can get them here. For example, chart number one. Symbols, abbreviations and terms used on paper and electronic navigational charts. It's interesting to get it for study as well. In general, it's interesting to explore this site. And here you can also download various programs for calculations, which may also be useful on the ship. And another useful site, again from NOAA, is called Chart Locator, charts.noaa.gov. Here you can find and download paper and electronic charts, but only for the coast of the United States. It may be more interesting for young navigators to just study a nautical chart, but if you are still using paper charts and somehow suddenly change your route to the USA, it may be helpful. Alright guys, I hope this information was useful for you as well as our channel. So give us a like, subscribe and thanks for watching, see you in the next video.